Andrew's right, garage. Come back to Andrew's garage where, well, I got a tail light burned out, right? I think it's probably because it was cracked when I bought it. And now the tail light does not work. At least uh, reverse, turn signal, brake light, they all still work. Tail light doesn't. So, you got to get the tail light out, right? Mm -hmm. Which requires taking out this cable, and I can get to the nuts. These are pretty straightforward. They're T25. These, however, you got to pull out the little inside. I'll, I'll show you. I got a trick to do that here. These plastic tabs, because you you'll break them otherwise. So the trick is, get yourself a screw. All right. Put it in the end there. Get yourself a screwdriver. Run it in just so slightly, and then pull. Come on. See how the middle's coming out? Pull that middle out. Yep. Then get yourself a normal screwdriver. Pop it out. Got it. Okay, got them both out. Now, oh, get the back end screws out. Boom. Oh, don't, don't go away. Come back. Okay, pull the other one out. Trying to drop that one. There we go. Okay. Then this light pulls straight back. And off the nipples. There we go. How dusty that is. All right. There's the two nipples it sits in with uh, these two pegs, but one's broken. It gone. Anyhow, um, this is a blind spot monitor sensor, right? And that's what makes this light here. You heard it here, $1,200, $1,200 for this thing. Crazy. And because I'm a cheap ass, uh, or maybe I'm just fiscally responsible, you get on Amazon, right? You buy the same light for $150, and you take out your blind spot, and you put it in here. The The difference between these is that one, does not say RAM on it like this one does. This one does. Otherwise, it's the same damn light. Now these are T20, so you gotta paint, paint that a bit. But take these four screws out here. One, two, oops, three, four. Don't want to lose those because I got to use them again. Come here. Stick them over here. And then we can wiggle this puppy out of here. There we go. Blind spot monitor. I just noticed you can't get that connector out of there without taking the actual blind spot monitor off the heat shield. So let's do that real quick. Okay, we got her unplugged and out. Time to swap over. All right, I got the dusty thing into the new light. Now we got to put it in here. Get these uh, these wires to go in here. I need two hands. Okay, it's mounted up. Time to get her hooked hooked up to the truck. And before I put it in, I make sure we do indeed have tail light and turn signal. Tail light and turn signal over here. Here. It's hard to tell because it's daylight out, but we're good. Now we'll put it back in. Of course, now we can peel the plastic off. Not worried about scratching it anymore. Put it in. Here we go. All right, got it back in. Just got to put these screws in. And we are done with the pro. I forgot one more thing. Hook that back up. Here we go. Old light can migrate over here. Rock and roll. You can see I didn't notice it when I bought this truck, but there's a dent right here. And the light was cracked. So they backed into something. Never noticed it, but at least I didn't have to spend quoted $1,500 for parts and labor to replace that. Crazy.